The UN-backed scheme to ensure that people from less wealthy countries are protected against COVID-19 is being hailed as a historic moment. The arrival of 600,000 vials from India marks the beginning of a massive campaign that will see more than 2 billion doses delivered to several developing countries across different continents. This COVAX program is about equity and solidarity. If you've followed the vaccination uh, going on around the planet, so far it's only citizens from the, let us say, the better off countries that have benefited from this. And from today, we're bringing equity. Ghana plans to inoculate around 20% of its population in the first phase of its campaign. But it's still not enough and the government says it's working on securing more doses. Almost 2.5 million people worldwide have died from coronavirus. So far, richer countries have been able to buy far more vaccines than poorer ones. And while COVAX has managed to raise $6 billion, it needs at least another $2 billion to meet its target for 2021. This COVAX is only financed now so we can reach in 92 countries the most vulnerable population, the older citizens, the health workers, people with comorbidities, you know. But we need much more vaccines and financing so we can va vaccinate everybody, just like if you walk in the rich world. Countries to receive the life-saving vaccines next will include some of the poorest countries in the world, including Haiti, Democratic Republic of Congo and Afghanistan, where the COVAX programme will cover 20% of its 38 million population. The global race for doses has meant that high-income countries can more easily do deals with vaccine manufacturers than low-income ones. So the World Health Organization and UNHCR are urging those companies to prioritise contracts with COVAX and ensure fair distribution worldwide. So far, 210 million doses of vaccine have been administered globally. But half of those are in just two countries, and 80% are in just 10 countries. More than 200 countries are yet to administer a single dose. After a year of disruptions due to the pandemic, there's hope that this is the beginning of the path to recovery for those most affected and those that are most vulnerable. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera.